Welcome! In this video, we will guide you through the disassembly, repair, and reassembly of Viking pumps G through AL sized motor speed pumps. Before you begin, please consult the appropriate technical service manual for safety information. A copy of the latest revision can be found on our website at vikingpump.com. To view the repair of the larger KE through QS size pumps, please watch our additional repair video. To begin, drain the pump of any residual liquid. Turning the shaft will help expel any liquid trapped in the gear teeth. Mark the head and casing before disassembly to ensure proper reassembly. Remove the head cap screws. Remove the head by tilting it backward to prevent the idler from falling off the idler pin. Insert a brass bar or piece of hardwood through the port opening and between the rotor teeth to keep the shaft from turning. Loosen and remove the lock nut. Remove the brass bar. Loosen the bearing housing set screws. Remove the bearing housing by turning it counterclockwise. Remove any snap rings or spacers from the shaft and bearing housing. The rotor shaft assembly can now be removed. A soft-headed hammer may be needed to tap on the end of the shaft to aid with removal. Remove the stationary seal seat from its bore in the back of the casing. If the seat cannot be pulled out by hand, a close-fitting dowel can be used to wiggle it loose. Remove any snap rings or spacers and remove the inner bearing from the casing. Remove the rotating portion of the mechanical seal from the shaft. For bellows seals, this can be accomplished by simply pulling it off. For wedge or o-ring seals, the retaining set screws will need to be removed first. The outer bearing is located in the bearing housing. On smaller sizes, it can be accessed by removing the outboard retaining ring. On larger sizes, the end cap in the bearing housing will need to be removed. Remove and replace the bearing. Make sure to replace the bearing end cap, set screws, and PTFE plugs as well. Inspect the pump parts for wear, especially critical parts such as the idler, idler pin, rotor shaft, and casing. It's recommended not to reuse seals, o-rings, snap rings, or bearings unless you have been instructed to do so by Viking Pump or your authorized Viking Pump distributor. Clean the rotor hub and casing bore. Make sure both are free of dirt or grit. Special care should be taken when handling the mechanical seal. Do not touch the sealing faces and be sure to place them face up on the bench to prevent scratching these highly polished surfaces. Using the provided lubricant or other compatible seal lube, coat the seal bore in stationary seat OD. Press the seal seat into the bore using only your thumbs, touching only the outermost edge of the seat so as not to scratch the sealing surface. A close-fitting dowel with a very slight step can also be used. Note that the wedge-type seal includes a small anti-rotation pin which must be lined up with its hole prior to pressing in the seal face. Install the seal installation sleeve. Next, lubricate the shaft and the seal bellows. Slide the seal down the shaft until the spring contacts the back of the rotor. Do not press directly on the seal face and do not compress the spring. Then, remove the seal installation sleeve. For wedge or o-ring style seals, slide the seal up against the back of the rotor. Remove the seal clips and tighten the set screws. Slide the rotor shaft assembly into the casing. Lubricate and install the head o-ring. Reinstall the head and idler gear, ensuring proper location of the pin and crescent. Tighten the head cap screws evenly. Install the bearing retainer washer. Install the inner bearing. Finally, install the bearing spacer. For inner bearing installation for G through HL sized pumps, Install the inner bearing and lock in place with the inner snap ring, followed by the shaft snap ring. Next, reinstall the outer bearing housing. Install the bearing spacer collar. Install the lock nut. 
Insert a brass bar or piece of hardwood in the port opening and between the rotor teeth to keep the shaft from turning. Tighten the lock nut to the appropriate torque setting using a deep bore socket and torque wrench. Proper torque settings can be found in the technical service manual. Remove the brass bar. You are now ready to set the end clearance and lock in place with the bearing housing set screws. For information on this step, please refer to our video, Setting End Clearance. Your Viking pump, motor speed pump, is now fully repaired and ready to be put back into service. For more information, please contact your local Viking pump distributor or visit our website at vikingpump.com.